Okay, y'all, I've got to finish up my look. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that we can make sure that I do get my look. I know we have a Christmas background. Uh, in our last video, I was trying to finish my eyes, and I have, as my husband put it, an Endora look because I haven't blended yet. That's because I was rudely interrupted in the middle of my mascara, my makeuping party here. Okay, so we had just gotten to um, correcting this wing by powdering over it, and I am also going to take this pointed um, sponge applicator. Uh, because it turned out that uh, I didn't have any brushes, so we're going to make do. And we're going to use this little tipping brush for a liner, which is probably why it's in here. And I'm using out of this quad, again, this is the Chanel Mystere number 43 quad. And it's really very pretty, but I'm going to use this top one by my thumb. And it's got a little more green black to it. It's a green black. My eyes are red because I think I'm on the computer too much, seriously, y'all, because that's what I do for a living, and then I come home and get on it. <laughs> and also, I'm staying up too late, so I'm going to have to um, get to bed better, get to bed on time. I'm actually going to um, fuzz out this little liner that we did, too, with this green. It's a green-black, I say green. And I'm just going over the line just to... Um, so it's not such a harsh line. There. All right, now, what is harsh, though, is this side. I'm going to blend that. <coughs> Excuse me! Before I choke in a minute. Okay, um, also, my brow got mushed or something. All right, I do not have my eyelash curler. Okay, so what would you do? Um... Here's the thing. I want to uh, talk about things you would do if you were, in fact, in my situation. For instance, the fact that I don't have my brushes handy. My eye brushes only have face brushes. So what could you do to blend all this out? And what could you do to curl your eyelashes? Well, obviously, for your eyelashes, what you can do is just take your finger and hold it back. Now, that's not going to be the same as metal. It's not going to be the same as, you know, a good hard crimp. But just holding it for a few seconds, I'll do that. And then we'll do it again in a minute. Now, to blend this, I'm going to use your lightest finger is your ring finger. It has the least pressure point on it. And I'm just kind of rubbing up. Up. You don't want to rub around or this could look really bad. And um, then I'm going to wipe it off a little and do with my middle finger. Just slightly up. A little up and down. And what I'm doing is blending without a brush. And now I'm going to do that in this kind of dark area that he said was a little too dark. Okay, well, what does he know about makeup? <laughs> Actually, he knows a lot about color and all that. He's an artiste. All right, so now I'm going to go back and use... Let me wipe off that dark color. And I'm going to blend out right here a little, too, because that was... To me, it looks a little unblended. There. I think that's okay. All right, now I'm going to curl them again. And how I'm doing it, again, is making my finger in a C... And I'm just going to hold them back a minute. And it's better than nothing. Okay. Now I have my mascara. And this is the Lancome uh, Definicil in Waterproof. Right there. You can see it. And the difference usually in waterproof mascaras that you'll notice is the blue. See the little blue line right there? It's a, almost always the case. They'll have something, you know, like water blue. The water on the east is green because we're on the Atlantic and it's not blue. Actually, the Pacific's not blue either. It's like a navy blue or just dark, man. When I saw it, and I saw it when I was in California. So the only blue water I know of, I mean, truly blue, is the Caribbean, the Mediterranean. Actually, the Caribbean's probably more like a turquoise green, isn't it? I don't know. I've never been. A few folks who've been, you tell me. What is the color of the sea in the Caribbean? I would imagine in the Mediterranean it's definitely blue. I guess there's all portions of the sea. Why am I talking about the, the sea? Um, that are different colors. Because um, I'm sure when you get deep enough, it's black. 
depending on what's underneath if there's rock or land underneath if there's green kelp it may be darker um, again I am brushing straight up this is coat one okay actually I've gone over it more than once but the drying process starts I've got all kinds of little fallout from my brushes y'all not good okay my face brushes if you're wondering, since I said I didn't have my eye brushes handy. Uh-oh. Well, I've got a nice gooky piece of um mascara in my hair. Yuck. Okay, we'll put that over here on this cloth. Alright, so um now we are again mascara rosing without an eyelash curler. I think this is gonna make a huge difference, y'all. Eyelash curlers make a huge difference. But that's okay. And again, when I get to the inner part of the upper lid, I go towards the nose. And the dogs are welcoming someone viciously. Hey, maybe I'm getting a delivery. Anyway, it also could be the trash man. They're coming later and later. Of course, it looks dark outside because there's no daylight savings time. I hate the lack of daylight savings time. I mean, it kind of feels more wintry, but it also, it's just so dark so fast. And I don't really like it being lighter in the morning. I guess pe morning people like that. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> so I'm just not crazy about it anyway. Yep, that was the cleaning, the um, trash man. They just went by. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the um, mascara well. You ever heard it called a well? That's what they call it used to be a little pot. They used to have a little tiny brush and they were just almost like a um, like gel liner. And they would squoosh around in their little pot. And back then there was so little expectation I think until Max Factor came along and really did it up with mascara. Okay, this is not the way to do my makeup. I don't have my hair pulled back so I keep getting my hair. And my mascara, my mascara, or as our London friends would say over on YouTube, my mascara. My mascara. Okay, and again, when you get to the inner part of your eye, whether it's the upper lid or lower, go towards the nose, not just straight down. Then go straight down. Whoop! A lot of errors. You know, it's different when you're doing something on camera because you don't have the things handy. I try to remember everything. Like I forgot my eyebrushes. And remember, I do my filming... Uh, until I can one day get my an actual filming room. I use my office. And so I use my little Lancome um, gift bag to bring from my dressing area all that I would need to do a video. And I forgot my eye brushes. Because in the last um, video, what I did was the Clinique facial um, tutorial with their, um, what's it called again? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I didn't have a lid on. Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I'm not sure how I feel about it, y'all. I'm really not. Not sure that I'm crazy about it. Okay, so I feel like I finally finished my face. Um, in the process, we had lots of things that we found out. First of all, that you really need an eyelash curler. I do not feel like that I have the same look without my eyelash curler. Um, I'm not quite sure about this bronzer. And that is the Clinique Chubby Stick Bronzer. Um, it just, and I blended and blended, y'all. I don't know if y'all saw me in the last video. I really have blended quite a bit, and it's almost like, okay, I'm tired of blending. This is ridiculous. Um, especially right there, and it just doesn't look blended. I don't know. Anyway, um, and I don't have on blush, but I'm kind of... Um, I'm kind of rosy-cheeked, so I think it's okay. I also used, it's kind of a pink... Um, highlight. This is the Chubby Stick Highlight. And I did do that and I do not see much of a sheen at all. I'm going to try it one more time because I did powder. And once you do a cream base, you can't powder over it if it's something like this. And again, down the nose. And I don't go to the end of the nose. I just don't. And then on your chin and your cupid though. See? Um, what I do feel like I've got a lot of highlight is right here, and it's not because it's highlighted, it's because it's shiny. Gosh, look at all these stinking hairs that have come off those brushes, y'all. 
I don't know if y'all can see that. Stay away from your um, crow's feet, ladies. Okay, we're going to bring that down. It is touching the top of my um, nose, and hopefully it's making me look look of a very skinny nose. Do I look like a skinny nosed woman? Okay. So anyway, that's it. Um, I'm sorry that took so long, you guys. Okay, did you see what I just did? Pimento cheese! Okay, what I don't like is I feel like this is settling. It's just too heavy. Maybe I should only use it in certain parts of my face and not my whole face. Again, this is really unusual application that it's a doe foot applicator like you would use for lip gloss. Is that the most unusual thing you've ever seen? I've never seen that before. That's funky. Um, and so you, you know, you put it on your hand and then you go from your hand to your brush to your face. And I, but I just, I'm not feeling like, I'll tell you what it, I feel like it's not doing well is the setting powder. This may be actually a good, I don't know, I don't feel like, here's how I judge things. Um, I'm still getting off little hairs from that brush. I'm going to have to talk Sigma Beauty. I am a huge Sigma Beauty fan, y'all know it, but I think it's this. It is worn out. Look how frazzled the end is. Maybe it's just, I've overdone it or something. I don't know. These were not that old. Remember when I got them? They should last longer. Especially these are really expensive because this is the 18 karat gold ferrule. Hmm. I'll talk to Sigma Beauty about it. They stand behind their products. Anyway, um, this powder, which is the Invisible Blend, Lightweight, oil-free powder provides a natural, perfecting look for all skin types. Dip brush into the powder, gently tap off excess, and sweep over the face where alone or over liquid foundation. And I just feel like it went too much. It's not doing enough. I mean, 